officials from Japan's Agriculture Ministry and the Fukushima Prefectural Government say they have detected more locations where radioactive substances exceed safety limits. Radioactive soil was detected at the bottom of many agricultural dams and reservoirs in the Fukushima Prefecture. A survey found 8,000 becquerels or more per kilogram of radioactive substances in 568 out of the 1,940 dams and reservoirs they inspected between last June and December. 108 were in the evacuation zones around the Fukushima Daiichi power plant and 460 were further away. Officials detected 370,000 becquerels per kilogram in the soil of a reservoir 58 kilometers away from the plant. It is the highest reading so far recorded outside the evacuation zones and more than 46 times the government limit of 8,000 becquerels for radioactive waste. Japan's central government is obliged to dispose of radioactive waste beyond this limit. Prefectural officials say rainfall may have carried radioactive substances from surrounding forests. Water from the reservoir with the highest reading outside evacuation zones is being used to irrigate nearby rice paddies. But officials say they have not found radiation levels exceeding food safety limits in locally produced rice. The head of the residents association says officials believe they will not be exposed to radiation as long as water remains in the reservoir. When there is no water in the reservoir, the radiation contaminated soil will be blown as dust toward nearby towns. It will become a terrible health problem. Ishii is urging the state government to address the situation as soon as possible. Fans staged an exciting speed eating competition to promote a local specialty, natto. The event was held north of Tokyo on Saturday. Natto, or fermented soybeans, is a popular food among Japanese people. Yoi! Start off! More than 130 people took part in the competition in Mito City. Men had to finish natto served with 400 grams of cooked rice, while women had to eat it with 300 grams of rice. Foreigners, including people from New Zealand, also participated. I love natto, but maybe too much. Gonna. <laughs> I was really focused on eating. The fastest woman took only one minute to finish the bowl. Okuma town is home to the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. The town's radiation levels are so high that much of it has been designated a no-entry zone. The entire Koirino district is part of a proposed site for intermediate storage facilities. NHK asked evacuees from this community whether they accept this. Of the 43 families that used to live there, 33 responded. More than 80% accept the plan, but many said it is an extremely hard decision for them to make. They wrote, it is hard to give up our ancestral land, but important to put to good use any land that's become uninhabitable. Some places must accept waste produced by decontamination, or there will be no reconstruction. I believe it will be almost impossible to return home but it is still very hard to come to terms with that reality. Mitsuharu Nemoto heads the community. This is a blueprint drawn up by the government. The nuclear plant is north. 
The red areas are sites for planned storage facilities. Nemoto's ancestral farmland and a plot of land for his delivery firm both lie there. I was speechless when I saw it. He says he understands that Fukushima needs such storage facilities, but it is still heartbreaking. The homes, the rice paddies, the mountains, these are the things that everybody in the community, including myself, has grown up with. These things have sort of become part of us. But now they've been contaminated and will have to be buried, covered by soil. Only their memories will live on. One of the two other candidate towns is not a no-entry zone. Radiation levels in Naraha town are so low that the government says residents should be able to return soon. Decontamination work in the town is scheduled to end this March. The government's proposal to build a storage facility there has confused residents. Kazumi Ashiguchi is a mason. He resumed work in August 2012, soon after the government allowed residents to return home during the day. He and other residents who have begun working again worry that a waste storage facility may prevent the town's reconstruction. Some people who have been thinking about returning home may decide not to. Many people may change their minds. It's possible to go back and live in Naraha now, so the idea of building a storage facility there makes no sense at all. Ashiguchi is against the plan primarily because of his children and grandchildren. These are my grandchildren. Since the nuclear accident, his daughter and her family have evacuated elsewhere. She says her family will not return to Nalaha if the storage facility is built. My daughter has made that clear. This is happening just when radiation levels have become so low she and her family could come back and live with us. It's so frustrating. Some people in Naraha say it may be in the town's own interest to accept the government's plan. Decontamination workers spend a lot of money in the local supermarket. Supporters of the plan say the construction of a waste storage facility will bring in more workers and help revive the local economy. The town is divided on whether to accept the government's plan. I don't deny that Fukushima needs the intermediate storage facilities. But Naraha is a place where radiation levels are now so low that people are looking to return.
帰れる町であるというような位置づけにあります。I want the government to keep this in mind. The state of Washington takes the gloves off to spur the federal government's cleanup at Hanford. For the first time in years, the states issued what's called an administrative order, a legally binding demand to the U.S. Department of Energy. King Five investigator Susanna Frame broke the story. The order forces the feds to stop wasting time in dealing with a leak of nuclear waste from a massive storage tank. And I expect、uh, the federal government to take this order very seriously,、uh, to understand that we mean business when it comes to ensuring the laws of our state are met. The state's top ecology official, Maya Bellin, says she had no choice but to get tough on the feds, issuing this enforcement action to the U.S. Department of Energy, an order to get moving on emptying the broken tank known as AY-102. That tank holds the worst toxic material at Hanford, and it's falling apart. In the investigation, Hanford's dirty secrets. King Five exposed the government contractor in charge of the tank, ignored evidence of the leak for a year before looking into it. That means AY-102's been leaking for at least two and a half years. Yet so far, the U.S. government hasn't done anything about it. Did you think it was going to come to this? I had hoped it wouldn't. Bellin says playing nice was over after A, finding out this month the tank is now leaking not in two but in three spots, and B, after the Fed said they want to wait at least two more years before starting to empty AY-102. According to Bellin, not good enough. There's evidence the tank waste is leaking into the soil and eventually could reach the Columbia River. I was extremely disappointed because it told me that the federal government would be prepared. To maybe authorize pumping two years from that date, so two years from this month. That、um, was not、uh, the direction or the course that I was expecting. So now, instead of waiting two years, the states created a deadline of six months. The feds have until September 1st to start pumping out that tank. And we just received a statement from the U.S. Department of Energy about a half hour ago. It says they are quote disappointed. The state chose this path, this、uh, order,、uh, issuing it, and they do not think the waste has reached the soil. That's their opinion.、Uh, they also say that there's actually a safety risk to pumping the tank right now. So they do have an option. They can appeal it. They have 30 days to do so. Obviously. Not getting along. So, what happens if the Fed delays? What, what's the recourse for the state? Then they can start paying up. The state of Washington has the ability to start、um, to fining, fining them, financial penalties. So、mm -hmm. that's what that's what's at stake. All right, more to come, Susanna. Thank you. Smiling Joe Fishing, your atomic tour guide to the strange.